Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And I'm basically making this one real quick just to answer a couple of questions that my dudes been hitting me up with on Instagram. Now, anybody that rock with me on Instagram, y'all know whenever somebody hit me up, I try to hit y'all back as soon as I can or whatever, but a lot of times I'll be busy running around all over the place so I don't get a chance to really get deep in the conversation. So let's try to get into this right now. So, a lot of my dudes been asking me, what's up, where you been at? And basically, I just been chilling. You know, it's the end of the summer, so I've been trying to do all the last minute car shows, all the meets, all the races and all that, all the drifting parties. I, you know, y'all cast that rock with me, y'all know, y'all see the pictures. You know, we're just trying to have a little bit of fun before it gets cold, and then everybody gotta put the cars up and all that. So I just been laying low. But at the same time, I do got a whole bunch of new products that we're gonna get into. Got, got a few new tabs, got a whole bunch of new headphones and cameras and got a whole bunch of shit, cases and batteries and wireless chargers, all the new shit. So we got a whole bunch of videos we're gonna get into. We definitely getting back into the videos real heavy, all right? Now, probably the number one question I've been getting hit with is, what do I think about the iPhone 5? You know, what's my thoughts on the iPhone 5? Am I gonna cop it? Am I gonna review it and all that? And basically, my thoughts on the iPhone 5 is this. Fuck the iPhone 5, that shit is mad garbage, all right? Next question. <laughs> now I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm de that's just for the trolls, I'm just kidding, all right? Look, as far as the iPhone 5 goes, it looks good, you know, but it doesn't really look that different from the iPhone 4S. You know, it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit faster, you know, got a couple of new features here and there, but am I gonna be standing online at the Apple Store tomorrow waiting to go cop it? No way. You know, I might get it if I'm bored or something or whatever, but I'm not really feeling it. Basically, this iPhone 4S that I got right here, this shit just stays in my car. I'm just using it to play music out of the car. You know, I don't really use it. It's basically too small for me. That's my main problem with, with iOS, really with the iPhone 4 and the 4S or whatever. It's just too small. And as, as far as the iPhone 5, you know, that's still too small for me too. Think about it like this. You know, my daughter's rocking the Evo 3D right now. You know, that's 4.3 inches. So I can't be running around with a phone and my daughter's phone is bigger than mine. You know, I don't really move like that. And you see, I got big hands. Look at this iPhone. You know, this it's just too small for me. So that's my main problem with it. I may eventually get it if I get bored or whatever, if it ain't nothing new out. Probably a couple of months down the line, you know, if my shorty want to get one, then I'll get one. But right now, as it stands, I'm not really feeling the iPhone 5. It's not, you know, like y'all know already, I don't be hating, I don't be, you know, doing the biased reviews and all that. You know, if I do get in the review, I'm gonna give y'all the 100% honest truth. But right now, the way I feel, it's not really that appealing to me. It's not really, you know, that, ooh, that make me wanna go out and copy. You know what I'm saying? It looks like an iPhone 4S that's just a little bit bigger. So now to go out and drop $800 on it, not really worth it for me just to have another iPod playing music in the car. Because a lot of cats think that, you know, every time something come out, I'm just going to go out and get it. But I really only buy products that I plan on using. And I don't really plan on using another iPhone. So right now, I'm not really feeling the iPhone 5. But, you know, whatever. Don't, 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 don't take my word for it. If you like Apple and you like iOS, then go get it. Me personally, though, I'm not really feeling it. Point blank. Next, the Galaxy Note 2. Now, a lot of cats been asking me, am I going to get the Galaxy Note 2? And my answer to that is, of course, I'm getting that one. Now, you're talking about five inch screen. That's what I need, because right now I'm using Galaxy S3. I'm using the Evo, Nexus and all that. So for me, bigger is better. A lot of people complain. Shout out to my homie, Brian. You know, we be going back and forth when we go to the car shows and all that. You know, they be trying to clown me like, oh, I'm carrying around a tab in my pocket and all that. Yeah, it's all fun and jokes and all that until it's time for somebody to say, you know what, check out this YouTube video. Now you try to play a, a YouTube video on your iPhone, it's mad small, you can't see nothing, and then I start playing it on my Galaxy, it's a big difference. So as far as the Galaxy Note, that's even bigger than the S3, quad-core processor, I mean, you can't go wrong with the stylus and all that. The Galaxy Note 2 is a definite goal, I'm definitely getting that one. And, and from what I hear, it's coming out on all carriers, so most likely I'm gonna pick up the Verizon joint, because where I live at in New York, we don't get no 4, 4G, no LTE yet from Sprint, so most likely I'm gonna get the Verizon. So the Galaxy Note 2, I'm definitely getting. So anybody who wanna get that and they are waiting for the review and all that, come to my channel because I'm definitely getting that one, all right? Next, what's up with the uh, LG Optimus G? Now a lot of people, y'all see the pictures I just put up the other day, it's going crazy buzz all over YouTube, all over the internet right now. That phone looks tough. Don't get me wrong, that phone looks hot. Am I gonna get it? I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? 
it's like for me it's kind of like putting a v10 and a supercharger inside a honda at the end of the day it's still a honda you know what i'm saying i don't really rock with you know what i'm saying i don't really rock with lg phones i, I never liked lg phones now if this one is going to be the new nexus and they take out the lg os and all that and they just have pure android that's another story but as far as um the ui i never liked the lg ui and um, I don't plan on trying it. That phone does look sick though. The 13 megapixel camera and the, what is it? 720 ISP HD display. I mean, the specs on it just look insane. But at the end of the day, it's still LG. That's just my personal opinion. I don't rock with LG. So I might not get that one, but I never say never because when, I, when it comes out, if it's, you know, if it's running pure Google and all that, then I'm definitely gonna get it. But anybody else, if y'all do like LG and all that, that's the phone that you need to be looking at right now. The LG Optimus G. It looks hard. What else? Next, um, a lot of cats been hitting me up asking me, did I do the uh, update on the Evo 4G LTE? Yeah, I did the update on it. The phone runs a lot smoother ever since the update. Now, it's not beating the Galaxy S3. You know, don't get me wrong, it's still top of the food chain and all that. But even with the update and all that, it runs a lot smoother. The multitasking works a lot better. But, I don't know. It's just still... After using the S3 so long, that's my favorite phone out right now. So that answers another question. A lot of cats been asking me, you know, after all these weeks went by, is the S3 still my favorite phone? And without a doubt, the S3 is definitely my favorite phone. If you take a look at it right now, I'm running the CM10 on it. So you see I got Jelly Bean on there. And I'm rocking this hardcore red theme. Phone is sick. So the CM10 runs smooth. Trust me, if you don't, if you never rooted your phone and you got an S3, you're not even really enjoying the phone if you didn't root it yet. All right, now that brings me to my next question. A lot of cats ask me, how come I don't make videos on how to root phones? Well, the thing is this. Look, I know how to root the phones and all that. All of my phones is rooted. You see, I got the CM10 on the Nexus. I'm rocking the AOKP, all Jelly Bean. On the Evo, I'm rocking the CM10. You know, it's it's not hard to root it, but at the same time, you need a lot of patience, and you and you know you gotta kind of know what you're doing a little bit. So I don't really make videos, how-to videos like that, because at the same time, if you make a mistake and you break your phone, or you make a mistake and you get stuck in a boot loop and all that, then you hit me up asking me how to fix it. A lot of times, I don't have time to answer the comments. I'll be running, I'll be flying here and there. So I don't want you to. Root, you know, root a, root a phone off my video, and then when you hit me up asking me how to solve a problem, I don't hit you back right away. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't do the videos on how to root. Shout out to the homie Josh. Shout out to homie Zito Max. If you want to root your phone, go to their channel. And those two dudes, if you get stuck, because I had a problem when I was rooting the Nexus, if you get stuck, they'll help you out on how to fix it. You know, you hit them with a comment, and they'll hit you back and tell you what you got to do or how to bring it back stock and root it over again and all that. It sounds complicated and all that, but Trust me, it's not that hard. It should take you no more than 20 minutes if you follow step by step. But what's the benefits of rooting the phone other than the free Wi-Fi and all of the custom ROMs and themes and all of that? It's just crazy. You're going to get Jelly Bean. Because right now, if you got your S3, you don't got Jelly Bean, so you don't got Google Now. You see, I got the Google Now on here. Everything works on it. So you got to root your phone. So if you got your Evo LTE, if you got your S3, if you got a Nexus, you got to root it. You gotta root it, then this, this way you can put the themes on it. Because right now you're only getting launches. If your phone is stock, you're not getting real themes. You're just getting, you're getting um, like ADW launcher and all that. Those are cool and they cute and all of that, but it's definitely not touching a real theme. If you notice with the theme on this one, now I'll do a full, a full review on this in a couple of days. If you notice, look at all the icons. All custom icons, all blacked out red. I'm using a red theme right now. So all of my icons are, 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 are theme coded. So it's kind of tough. All right, so root your phone if you didn't root it yet. Next, a lot of cats been asking me, what do I think about the uh, Apple versus Samsung, all the lawsuits, all the drama and all of that? Basically, look, my answer is this. You know, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't really, I don't really know all the details with all the litigation and all that, and I don't really want to get involved with all that. The bottom line is, you know, it's all about business. So if Samsung really did steal something from Apple, then, then you know they need to be held accountable for it, point blank. Now I don't know who stole what. You know I don't really know about it. I don't, I don't really care. But at the end of the day, my only problem is the way Apple went about handling it. You know it just makes them look, it just makes them look corny by the way that you know. At the end of the day, 
the only people suffering is us, the consumers, because they banning this product, banning that product. You know, people who was on the fence about Apple, after all of this, they hate Apple now. And these are not the fanboys and all that, the real Android fanboys. These are just regular everyday consumers. They wanted to go out and get an S3, and you know, next minute, the store won't sell it to them because the Apple got a ban on it. Now I can understand from the business point, you know, all of that, but at the end of the day, it's hurting the customer, it's hurting the, it's hurting the whole tech game. So that's my only thing, my only, my only comment towards that is, you know, they could have handled it behind closed doors. Apple got billions of dollars, Samsung got billions of dollars. They could have sat down and handled it a little, a little bit better. But like I said, if anybody's stealing from anybody, then that person needs to get dealt with, point blank. Next. What's up with the video games? Now, a lot of cats been hitting me up, asking me, what's up, am I still rocking the video games? I'm still on Mortal Kombat, I'm still dropping that hammer on dude, so anybody that wanna challenge me, come through. I just picked this up today, so we're gonna be on this later tonight. The Tekken Tag. So anybody that rocked the Tekken Tag, you see, I, I just got it, never played it yet, so this is your chance. If you wanna challenge me, and you wanna try to get a W, this is your chance, because by next week, I'll be dropping that hammer just like I'm dropping in the Mortal Kombat. So Tekken Tag, that's what we on now. That's about it for the video games. But I'm still rocking the Mortal Kombat and all that, so all my true MK heads that be hitting me up, yeah, I'm still going in. I'm Actually, I'm gonna be on tonight, we're getting drunk, we're gonna be online, we're having a good time. So the video games is definitely still a go. Now, I haven't recorded any because um, I actually, I just got a new TV and I haven't switched over my Roxio game capture. So I haven't recorded any videos yet, but whatever. A couple of cats hit me up. Maybe I'll stop being lazy and connect it and we get some more videos popping off. Next, a lot of cats may hit me up asking me what's up with the car videos, what's up with the races and all that. And look, my thing is this, you know, I, me, I'm everywhere. I wouldn't mind putting up all the race videos, but a lot of the cats that's in my club and you know, on my team and all that, they don't want their cars to be shown breaking the law. You know, a lot of cats, they got real professional jobs and all that, and everybody got custom plates, so they don't really want their car on YouTube doing a buck 60, you know what I'm saying, speeding and going crazy. And I can respect that. That's why a lot of the crazy videos I haven't put up. But all the, the other videos, when we just cruising and all that, and we doing 80, 90, a buck, buck 10, you know, that ain't really too crazy, so I've been dropping those up. I got a whole bunch of videos on file from the last couple of weeks. The Beamer Fest, the Beamer Stock, the Drift Party. I mean, I just gotta, you know, get together, get in the house, get everything together, edit them up, and drop them up there for y'all to see. Now, a lot of cats, if y'all don't understand the video, like, a few cats hit me up asking me, why do you make videos of just driving around? Like, what is that? Well, that, those videos are for my true car heads. You know, if you're a real gearhead and you love cars and all that, you understand those videos. Cats that don't really, you know, they not into cars and all that and they not really in the scene like that, then they don't understand those videos and those videos basically ain't for you to understand. Those are for my real car heads, all right? What else? A lot of cats been asking me what camera do I use when I film, like when I do the races and all that. That's a camera I reviewed a long time ago, the Contour Plus. If you never seen that camera, just go look through some of my old videos. Look at the Contour Plus. That camera costs about $500, but worth every penny. Y'all see the quality of the video. I got a whole bunch of different mounts. I got a mount for on the rear view mirror. I got a mount for the back of the car. Got a mount for the front. Matter of fact, I just got this mount right here. So I can mount outside. If y'all seen the Beamer Fest video and I had the camera outside the car, I was using this mount. The Contour Plus is a definite go. You can also Bluetooth it to your phone, so you can use your phone as a viewfinder. It's a win, all right? It's a definite win. Contour Plus, so that's the camera. As far as the videos that I'm making right now, like these kind of videos, I'm using a Sony Handycam. I don't know the model number, but I think I paid about $1,200 for it when it came out. You know, so it, not the top, top of the line, but you know, it's up there. It's a real nice one. All the videos come out clear, HD, good sound and all that. So Sony Handycam, if you wanna make some YouTube videos and all that, spend a couple of dollars and get a good camera. And last but not least, um. My homie just hit me up a few minutes ago asking me um, what new products do I got? Am I, am I getting ready to review? Let me say, um, let me see, let me see. I got a whole bunch of headphones. I got at least five different sets of headphones. Got the Bob Marley's, got a couple of Beats. Got some other shit, the Sony's, I got the Bose. I got a few, um, I got a whole bunch of Galaxy S3 accessories. We're trying to, as a matter of fact, instead of making one video for each, I'm gonna try to make one video, slap them all in one video. This way you can see all the products and all that. But we got a whole bunch of shit coming out. A whole bunch of videos. Starting next week, I'm gonna really sit down and try to get back into my grind. You know what I mean? So that's basically it. 
Shout out to everybody that follow me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all on that Facebook page. Shout out to my, my race club, Higher Motorsports. I see y'all. Shout out to the E90 chat forum, my man Nick, Troy, all, yo, all of the troll committee. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? The whole troll committee over there. I see y'all out there, all right? It's your boy Floss. I'm going to get up with y'all on the next trip. Deuces.